so much love to all my mooners who watch my videos. I gotta give a warning on this one. It's pretty graphic. It's pretty gnarly. This is a rough one. It gets exponentially worse as the video goes on. So yeah, warning. Oh my God. Guys, this is actually terrible. There's like sounds happening in my van. Do you hear the noises? This is the most lame shit that has ever happened in the history of Van on the Moon. I unlocked the door and the smell is so bad. Comes out, it smells like poop, it smells like urine, it just smells like shit. It is disgusting. It didn't smell like that at 7.30. So much diarrhea. I really hope that YouTube doesn't take this down. <laughs> It's pretty gnarly. There is feces everywhere. We've had episodes like this before. You know, like, my van is a disaster. My van survived a flood. Those type of vibe videos. This one is a three-parter. Alright, we need to talk because I have done something terrible. Um, <laughs> so, we all know that there is a lot of rust on my van. There's been multiple videos about the rust on my van, so you guys are well aware. I wanted to take matters into my own hands and I got this stuff called Cred Cutter. Not spawns. Hoping I could c cut the crud. <laughs> and you know, it says like rust remover and inhibit inhibitor. So I sprayed it on the outside of my van to inhibit the rust, maybe, because it says you can leave it on. And I didn't read the fine print that you're not supposed to leave it on painted surfaces. So. This is what we're working with. Yeah. It's terrible. There are drips everywhere. Oh my god! I am heartbroken. I don't know how to repair this. I'm gonna have to probably sand it off and repaint. Because, yeah, if you are having a rusty van, don't leave the crud cutter on there. If you got paint, it's gonna fuck it up. So yeah, that is one of the three-parter problems of this video. Trust me, there's been a lot of other problems also. But we're sticking to three for this video because the other ones each have their own video. Trust me, they are coming soon. Ah. Problem number two happened last night. Here I am, camping at one of the spots I like to camp at. I will not disclose my locations. And it's 3 a.m. And I wake up. <laughs> you know what? I'll just show you the footage from last night. Guys, this is actually terrible. There's like sounds happening in my van. I was sleeping and I thought it started raining. Oh my God, I'm literally in my underwear. So I don't wanna like, there's cars driving past. Fuck man. I can't even go outside. I thought it was raining outside. Oh, this is so... Yeah, 
I heard the waves. I heard the wind. I figured it's just raining. I'm like, oh, I'm in the Peter Pan. It's not raining. There's a sprinkler pointed directly at my van. I'm gonna switch to the other camera. Are you f***ing serious? Yeah. Right to the window where the solar... Right into the f***ing open window where the solar wire is going in. Are you f***ing kidding me? Do you see how this is pointed? That is so lame. Do you hear the noises? Oh my God, all the speakers. This is fucking terrible. This is the most lame shit that has ever happened in the history of Van on the Moon. I disconnected the battery, so at least, at least the speakers and the stereo system aren't just like flashing and making weird noises anymore. This thing is so sketch. I hate the, <laughs> I hate doing anything with the battery. When I was taking this off, there was literally like sparks flying. I wish I recorded, but like, f man. There was like actual water running out of the vents in the dashboard. Yep, everything in here is soaked. This is where the water was running out. The stereo, I'm pretty sure it's just f***ed now. The floor is soaked. The seat is soaked. And did I mention it's 3 a.m.? Yeah amazing beautiful um yeah so this is kind of a sh show i don't know what i'm and there was already a video like this coming because this isn't the only lame f thing that has happened to the van recently we've had episodes like this before you know like my van is a disaster my van survived the flood those type vibe videos this one is a three-parter so <laughs> yeah that was pretty awful pretty terrible definitely cried a little bit <laughs> yep i just after that i laid in my bed and cried because what the f so now, uh, this morning, I wake up, and it's a new day. Rainbows came, and we reattached the battery. Help has arrived. <laughs> How's it look? And it looks like it's normal. Do, you, do we have the things we use to pull that out? Nope, we use a special tool you had. Yeah, I mean, it's a button, it? Let's see if he turns on. I'm scared. What the fuck? Oh, what? Oh. Well, it already looks better than last night. Last night was fucking terrible. That screen was just flashing. Okay, so the speakers are f***ed. No, they have f***ed. Oh. 
Can you start it? Success! Okay, so it's not as s as I thought it was. So, seems the van at least starts. That's good. It looks like I will be replacing the stereo because the like it turns on and the Bluetooth connects, but then it doesn't play any sound. So Rainbow said he thinks the amp is out. So I'll be replacing that and hopefully it works. At least the van drives, I'll just be without music for a while. And I have some cleaning up to do up there. I don't know what is in the cosmic alignment right now that's really messing with the nomads because problem number three is actually not mine. It is my Aunt Katrina's. Hers was an actual show. <laughs> my aunt is a really awesome woman. She's been traveling the continental US for almost a year now in her camper. Yesterday, <laughs> my aunt sent me all of these crazy videos and pictures and I have to show you guys because like of all the things that could happen to van lifers and like nomads like the top things you think of being bad are like okay an intruder a thief someone will like murder you what happened to my aunt you wouldn't think of i would never dream of this happening to anyone let alone a family member i have to share her story i have clips of her telling her story yes i will be showing the videos of the shit and piss smeared all over the inside in a couple minutes i want to give the story first and then we'll dive in so i have an update for everybody today is wednesday june 5th i'm in chico i've been staying with kayla at her apartment, um, but I've been going out to my camper that's parked a block away from her house um, at night to sleep. But this morning I wake up at 7.30 and I'm headed inside to Kayla's for the morning. Um, outside my camper on the side of the street, I see somebody kind of sleeping on the sidewalk. Um, I had kind of a thought when I passed them that, you know, they seemed like they shouldn't be sleeping there and I was kind of worried about my camper but I I thought it would probably be fine they looked harmless sleeping um I come back to my camper around 10 30 and I'm just gonna run out and get something so that we can run some errands and I noticed that the lady who was sleeping on the sidewalk is not sleeping on the sidewalk anymore um however she does have some stuff here um shoes, some clothes, there's some feces that she has on left outside. She also has a wagon, a black wagon, um, that she was pulling and her black wagon is now leaned up against the side of my camper. Um, I go to the front door and I'm thinking about opening it when I see that my bungee cord on my front door is taken off. I've been bungeeing it, um, for when I drive that the door doesn't open. So I now will get worried that maybe she's inside the camper. So I walk around to the back and I see, I see a gentleman at his car kind of parked behind me and there's some people outside of the business next door and I go to talk to them and I tell them I'm the owner of the camper and um, have they seen anybody kind of in or near my camper that looked like maybe they didn't belong there. Um, the man tells me that he he did see somebody, but he thought that it, it was the owner, um, and he thinks that they're inside sleeping. Um, 
So I asked him if he'll walk over to my camper with me and uh, see if they're still in there. I walk up to my camper, I bang on the door before I unlock it to try to let, if there is anybody inside, let them know I'm coming in. I unlock the door and the smell is so bad. Comes out, it smells like poop, it smells like urine, it just smells like sh It is disgusting. It didn't smell like that at 7.30. Okay, so I then get nervous and the guy offers to go into the camper first to see if anybody's still inside. I figured they probably weren't because I banged really hard and nobody responded, but he goes in and he says, yes, there is for sure a body in there. They are, look like they're passed out on one of the two beds. So I peek my head in there, you guys, it is covered. My bed is covered in sh Covered in sh She goes in there and there is just actual shit. And pee and a person. <laughs> she, the lady who had been sleeping on the sidewalk is now sleeping on my second side of the bed, which is just plywood. And I just use that area for storage and she is sleeping there. Um, so I leave the camper door open and I call the police, hoping that they'll get here before she wakes up and stumbles out. But little Miss Goldilocks woke up and stumbled out before the police got here. To be real here, after she talked to like the other like police and people who helped like they said if she didn't find the person in her camper when she did that person could have died between the combination of the temperatures the drugs like the person's condition and also the dehydration that having so much diarrhea would cause <laughs> this person could have died if my aunt didn't get back to her camper when she did but when she found the person and called the police by the time the police got there this like this woman's on the move like she's running so I then pursue her on foot and the man kind of follows behind me just a little ways kind of just watching and making sure everything's okay except that I chase her three blocks um Kayla and Rory um, also were aware of the situation so they were they ran over to meet me um so we at this point I've chased her over fences through neighbor through backyards um while on the phone with the police giving them descriptions of her and where I'm at and um we think we kind of have her surrounded in the backyard the police finally arrive I don't know maybe 15 or 20 minutes later um they go in the backyard and sure enough she's back there and they get her but she is disgusting so so gross just covered in grossness it was ugh, you guys it was so bad so my aunt my cousin and my cousin's friend were having to chase her down like hopping fences and shit until finally the police got her this is the person i actually not show her face because i don't know what like the privacy rules are but you can see her general condition. I really hope that YouTube doesn't take this down. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly. So that happened and now this is what the inside of the camper looked like. Um. So now I'm gonna give you a little tour. I have to go back in. The forecast today is 108 degrees and everything that she left behind in my camper is now just sitting in the heat, getting worse. So I have to get in there. I have some gloves, I have some trash bags. I'm gonna change my clothes and put on clothes I can throw away. Um, hopefully find something mentholatum or something I can put so I don't have to smell it so bad. And I'm going in and I'll give you a tour in a minute. Bye, wish me luck. Okay, now it's time to dive into the damage. Here is a following clip that my aunt Katrina took while she's walking through the uh, crime scene. All right guys, I promised a video and here's the progress and the inside of my camper from the lady who uh, was sleeping outside. Here's her wagon with some of her items. 
She broke in through the screen. Yes, I did leave the windows open, but like I said earlier, it is going to be 108 and I am trying to be able to stay in there at night. She also has this lovely pile of belongings over here. Um, shoes, clothing, pile of shit. There's hundreds of flies. It looks like she has a couple changes of clothes, but let's go inside the camper. Um, hold your breath, because it's going to be really bad. When I opened the door, there is, it was soaking wet. There was pee everywhere. This stain was not here when I left this morning. Ugh. Okay, it's so bad. Okay, in we go. Again, that was not there this morning. There is feces everywhere. This uh, stuffed animal was brand new. That is poop indeed on my comforter. That's not even the worst part. It is all over my bed. I now have to get rid of a lot of stuff. Oh my God, I am seeing it is worse. It, the, that is just literal shit. Um, those were clean clothes, freshly washed and laid out. There is shit on my bean bag, I see. There is also shit on my curtains from where she came in. Look, I have a toilet, but she didn't want to use it, I guess. She got into my water and my rug was white. This is all liquid. Probably mixed pee and water and shit. I'm afraid to touch everything. I am going to have to bleach the shit out of this camper. Probably throw away the jug she touched and we'll disinfect all the other ones just in case. The bathroom? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't have running water right now, but she could have used the toilet. It does flush. Let's see. Open. Set some stuff down. Just probably should get some gloves on here. Here's my, I don't know if she went in here. I mean, it looks like she did. Oh, if she did, she might've found medicine. Um, I mean, that looks pretty untouched, kind of like it looked like yesterday. This looks like how I left it. I think I left that open. Um, the pillow is soaked. I guess I'll be getting a new pillow, a new bed, a new mattress. Um, that's something. Oh, she did use a tissue box. Um, so she did maybe try to clean up or use it. I don't know. Um, I haven't gone through any of my cupboards at all yet. I will do that later and figure out what she took. But wish me luck. And um, I will update everybody later. Bye. I know I'm laughing. It's like not funny it's like so awful it's so like terrible if I, I picture like someone doing that to my van I returning to it would not feel safe I would feel like the energy of my van was forever shifted I'd sell the damn thing and get a new one and so I'm like wow and I'm laughing and I think it's like a coping strategy to be just like what kind of cosmic fucking joke so there is there it is this week is a pretty bad one <laughs> also yeah this video is like way in the future compared to where the channel is at currently we have like 10 videos to roll out still that I've recorded since my transition into my van so next week's video is gonna be basically from like two months ago sorry about it I just can't I'm recording faster than I can even post <laughs> So I really appreciate everyone who's supporting the channel. We're super close to getting monetized and go check out my aunt's Instagram. She actually has one called The Intrinsic Nomad, which will be linked in the description. Go show her some love. Maybe send her a Venmo if you're feeling generous because she had to throw away like $500 worth of stuff, including her bed because it got diarrhea all over it <laughs>
Yeah, I think the title of this video is just gonna be something like the worst week of van life or like I'm gonna title it van life sucks <laughs> it doesn't suck I truly love it it's the best decision I've ever made but we need to get the clicks to get the story out <laughs> and people love the drama van on the freaking moon guys